at the Grover's residence here at Danimora. And Pamita is going to show us how to make one of the Kiwis and us Indians' favorite recipe, bread rolls. Well, let's just go in and see what she has for us. Hello, we are from Mirchi TV. I'm Petrina. I'm here to see Panita. Oh, sure. Come, come sure. in. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. I'll just go and get Panita. That would be great. Oh, here is she. Hi, Panita. Petrina from Mirchi TV. How are you? Good, thanks. You've How are you? You've got a beautiful house. Thank you. Please be seated. Thanks. So, you've got something really interesting for us. We're all so excited about it. Oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, it's a very simple yet very tasty and uh, filling dish. It's bread rolls with mint chutney and uh, it's got potato filling in it. Oh, yum! <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, you can make other variation too, like you can add mints to it or cottage cheese, that is, is it, paneer. Is it a time-consuming um, recipe or would people just make it like really fast because you know how we are nowadays? It's a real quick one oh, great. and yet very, very tasty. Well, in short, I can say that all my Indian and Kiwi friends, they just love it. They especially ask for it. So, this is what I can say about so it. So, popular amongst <laughs> everyone because of it? Yes, it's a very, very famous snack among my friends. All right, let's teach it to the world then. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> sure. Come, let's go. Right, Panita. So, would you be telling us about the ingredients? Yeah, the ingredients required here are potatoes, bread, Mustard seeds, coriander leaves, washed and chopped finely, peas, chopped onions, some grated cheese and green chilies. Well, that's optional. All right. If you really want something hot, then you can put green chilies. Otherwise, you can do without it. Not a problem. It's always nice to spice things up. Okay. <laughs> As you like, we'll make accordingly. Right. I just wanted to ask you, with regards to cheese, is it a particular type or do we just use cheddar? Any any cheese, grated yeah. cheese. Preference. Yeah. And yeah. with bread, can we use, like some of us like wheat or brown bread? Well, you can use brown bread or multigrain bread, but uh, please use a toast bread. Toast bread, bread is always the best because right. the slices are a bit thicker than the sandwich bread. Right. So okay. I would always prefer to use toast bread for bread rolls. Fabulous. Yeah. Some people like minted peas and is that minted or can we just use normal any no peas. any peas, frozen peas, but these are frozen peas. Any okay. frozen peas you can use. Fabulous. So yeah. we need to thaw them just a couple yeah. of minutes before yeah. we start yeah. cooking. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we have some potatoes here. This needs to be mashed. mashed. Okay. Yeah. All right. And mashing potatoes using all my strength. Now, how much would this approximately make? I mean, we've got around, what, 500 grams of potatoes here? Oh. Yeah, that will make her up about, uh, say, 25 bread rolls. More than enough. Mm. Wow. Okay. So. Do we mix something with this while we smash the potato? Or we just Once it is mashed, okay. then we'll put some spices in it. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, and once, after putting the spices, then we'll temper it with mustard seeds. All right. All right, we are that's going a little bit of yeah. salt. Yes, that's salt. I'm using some chili powder, which looks red and hot, but it's not. Some mango powder. That is amchur. Okay. This is cumin seed powder. Okay. I have roasted cumin seeds and then grounded it. Now we're going to mix it well. Right. Are these spices really easily available or would somebody really have to go hunting for them? Uh, I think it's only for uh, mango powder that you need to go to Indian shops. Okay. Otherwise, you can get other spices quite easily everywhere. Okay. Mm. And the chili powder that we've used, it's not too hot. No, it's just no. It's mild. only for the color. Okay. It's not hot at all. But it depends. If you really want to eat hot food, then you can use the chili powder that you usually use at home. Right, and if somebody actually prefers spicy, they can chop chilies and put them Yeah, that. we are going to put some. Oh, great. Yeah, that is why I had it over here. I'm a big fan of chilies. I love okay. spicy food. Okay, then we are going to put some chilies for you. <laughs> Thank you. Especially for you. That's adding spice to life. Mmm. 
So this is basically just make it into bonds and put it in. Nothing. No. All right. Yeah, we have taken some oil in the pan. We temper it with mustard seeds. Once Whoa. it starts spluttering, okay. then we can add some onions. How much of onions would that be? One cup? Uh, yeah, About around that. Two yeah. medium onions. Yeah. yeah. We have to fry them till light golden brown. Even if you don't want to uh, make it a long thing, hmm. then you can just use this mixture into okay. the... Don't put onions don't or put, mustard seeds. Don't put onions or uh, mustard seeds or peas then. Okay. Because peas need to be cooked a bit. True, true. Mm -hmm. But uh, cheese and coriander uh, leaves they cook will... Really. Yeah. No, what I was thinking, like, because I'm an ardent fan of chicken and stuff, mm. <laughs> you can put, like, chopped chick uh, like shredded Anything. chicken or something with Anything. it, with the potato. Yeah. So you've got chicken and potato yeah. Yeah. and the bread, yes. I mean. Yes. Okay. Variation can always be done. Right. So it's a bit light brown in colour. Okay. Next goes in peas. Fry them for a while. When we are making this, do we sprinkle some spices or oil with this? Or we have already enough? put in the potatoes. So, so we really don't, don't need to, to put, put anything here, there. no. If you've added salt, too much of salt, can we add okay. some more of some ingredient to actually cut in, off? In fact, you have put a bit of more salt here because onions and peas don't have salt in it. Right, okay. So you don't put anything no, in that? No, no, nothing. Once this thing is mixed with potatoes, so it just blends well. More than enough. Mm. We'll add a bit of cheese here. Potatoes. and some coriander leaves. Mix it well. Oh, I can see the cheese melting already. Yeah. Oh, that looks delicious. Just a bit here. Okay. Well, I'm learning to cook. Yes. Oh, that looks yum. Yeah. That it's, looks it's, like... it's almost ready now. We can put the fire off. I'm thinking of a really quick way to make sandwiches for myself for lunch. Yes. Just it, between two yeah. slices of bread. Mm. That's it. And you can make very good patties as well. Oh. Yeah. And well, if you're in hurry, then you may not temper the potatoes. You may just add the spices, cheese, coriander leaves, and uh, if you like raw onions, then you can put raw onions and just fill it in the bread and that's it. Amazing. Yeah. So that's all done, ready to go into the bread? The bread, yes. Just taste and let me know how the salt is. Okay. So that if we need to put some more, we'll put now. Perfect. Okay. The potato mixture is ready. We need to cool it for a while to fill it in the bread. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that from you. Take bread, put it in water, squeeze it well, put the potato mixture in it, okay. little bit. And just close it like this. Press it a bit hard so that both the ends they are joined together. And it also takes out all the excess yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, instead of water, can we use something else, for instance, milk or...? No. I would only suggest water and that also cold water. Okay. Please don't take hot water. Put it in. 
take it out immediately, squeeze water well, at the same time do not let the bread break, take a bit of potato mixture, put it in the bread and here it goes. It looks pretty easy actually to make, but sometimes if you squeeze it too much as well, you can have everything come out. Well, I've told you the trick so that don't let it be in water for very long. Okay. Take it out immediately. Okay. It's between your palms. Squeeze it well. Okay. I'm not letting it break. Right. You put a bit of mixture in the bread. If you're trying for the first time, some people can take out the crust as well okay. and then try. I think but I would always suggest to have the crust on because that tastes very crispy after frying. True. Now we just need to deep fry it? Yeah. I've got fryer here, but you can always use wok for frying. Okay. Yeah. The way you fry samosas and all. Deep frying. So which oil do we use? I mean, canola? Uh, I use canola oil, canola oil but okay. you can use the oil whichever you use in your kitchen. Okay. Yeah. So even if we've got like some leftover oils where we've fried something and we use it, is that all right or would it deter the taste? I, I, I really wouldn't recommend you that. You wouldn't do no. that. The oil is heated enough for us yeah. to Yeah. Oil is hot. Okay. So we have put it in. Do we, we cover fry. the lid or just leave Nothing. it too? No. Okay. Just let it be like this and they'll fry. Approximately how long should we leave it in? Uh, it will take about three to four minutes. Yeah. The Indian Cookery Show is sponsored by Spice World. One stop shop for all your daily spices. Can we make, uh, just get things together for chutney? Uh, mint chutney? Yeah. For mint chutney. Do you want me to chop that up? Yeah. Okay. Just small little pieces? Yeah. Or anything? Not, not, not very small. Yeah. This size will do. Is that okay? Yeah. Into two? Yeah. As long as it blends in the mix. Yes. We have lemon juice here they smell spicy so mm, sometimes the chilies strong. are really not good enough but they smell really spicy and we would just need to keep some lemon juice yeah this is lemon juice green chilies and mint leaves okay. and In the spices are like usual only salt green chilies, uh, sorry, red chilies okay. and um, mango powder, cumin seed powder. Okay. Yeah. Now, we've used a fresh uh, lemon. Can we use the pre-processed yeah, yeah. ones? Yeah, we can we use get? that. We can use that. Yeah, and uh, onions is the another thing that we need to use. Oh, this is chutney. the first time I'm hearing of mint chutney with onions. Really? Seriously? And I've never made mint chutney without onions. See? Never. It's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounds crispy. Yeah. They are very crisp. Oh, they look divine. So 
for mint chutney, we just need to put onions in, some green chilies, some lemon juice and grind them. Once the onions are grinded well, we add mint leaves. I'll get you a spoon. Um, that's if I find... It's here. I'm not too familiar with your place. Is this for all the leaves or do we do it in two separate batches? We'll, yeah, we'll do it in two separate batches. Okay. We'll do half of them first and... Then Now we put the other half. I just love the smell of mint. Mm. It's so fresh. Wonderful. You're really good. Really you get good mint here. Very fresh mint. There it goes. Oh. Just do we need to put some spices yeah, in this? Yeah, now we'll put some spices in it. We're going to put some salt. Okay. A little bit of red chili powder because we have already added a lot of green chilies to it. Okay. So we have to be a bit careful. Cumin seed powder, roasted cumin seed and then ground it. So how would you make that? Just jeera, right? Just yeah. Cumin jeera? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we just roast, roast it, it and, then and then grind, grind it. it. Yeah. Okay. And this is again a bit of mango powder to give it a sour taste. Along with the lemon juice. Along so it with the lemon tangy juice. Yeah, taste. because they both have got their own taste. Okay. And a bit of sugar. Oh, that's a secret ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> sugar? A bit of. Not would that much. cut down the spice? Or? Yeah. Yeah, the mint, the mint. That strong flavor of it. Mm. Yeah. That's a secret <laughs> ingredient you've just given out. Well, I've given you my secret today. <laughs> okay, and it's ready to go again. Yeah. Ready to eat. Okay. Do we garnish with something or nothing? Would we? Nothing. We just need to put it in the fridge for some time. Okay. So it's yeah, hot. Yeah, it gets chilled okay. a bit and then it tastes much better. So really warm better. bread rolls with chilled yes. mint chutney. Yum, that sounds amazing. So we put this to the fridge for some time? Yeah. Yes, that will be good. 